Welcome back to our last English lesson of this week. So today we're still learning thinking about that sweet potato story but what we're going to do today is we're going to think about planning our own story, our own adventure for the superhero and the supervillain that you've invented this week. So we're going to be planning today and we need to plan a story that's got a beginning, a middle and an end. So just to get back into the swing of Super potato, what I'd like you to do is once I've finished talking, if you pause the video, I want you to remind yourself of the story of Super Potato, the original story in the order of what happens, all the events. Then I want you to find your work from this week, find your description of your hero, find your description of your villain and just have a read through to remind yourself of what those characters are like. So pause the video, retell the Super Potato story, read through your superhero design and then read through your evil villain work and then come back to me. So hopefully you have reminded yourself of the story of Super Potato because we're going to use the structure, the ideas in that story to help us with our own one. So we're not just going to copy the story and just swap the characters over, we're just going to use the order of the events to help us. We're going to need to come up with our own ideas for our own superhero and our own villain. So have a think. You might want to pause the video again. What kind of trouble could your villain cause in the supermarket? What might your villain do to the other things in the supermarket? What kind of mess might he make? Maybe you don't want to set it in a supermarket. You might want to do it somewhere else where food is. But have a think about what trouble your villain could cause and then how your hero could sort it out. You might also want to think about how your hero is going to save the day and how they're going to celebrate that at the end of your story. So if you're thinking, oh, I don't really know what could happen, I've got some suggestions for you here of what trouble could happen in the supermarket. So we've got a pepper there. That pepper is looking very sad because someone has chopped the top of his head off and emptied his seeds out. Then we've got a pineapple who's had a haircut. And doesn't look very happy about it. We've got a carrot that's been partly grated. We've got some grapes that look like they've been squashed. We've got a banana looking horrified because someone started to peel their skin open. And then we've got a cheese slice that's been torn in half and then they've let there's some kind of mark on the side as well. That cheese slice does not look very impressed. So those are some suggestions to get you thinking about what trouble could happen. So this next slide, I have made it look a little bit like the sheet that I've made for you. So you'll see down the side, and this is the same on your sheet, that there is basically the order of events in Super Potato. So we've, it was night time in the setting. So in Super Potato, it was in the supermarket and something was different, something was wrong. Then the villain, the evil P, got up to mischief, got himself into some trouble, was causing chaos. Then the hero, Super Potato, came to save the day and there was the chase. Eventually, the hero caught the villain and at the end they had a celebration and the author told of how everyone else was feeling. So they were all happy, weren't they, that the evil P had been taken back to the freezer. So that is the order of Super Potato. And what I've done in the other box is I've thought of my own ideas for my own story, which are similar to Super Potato, but then I've made some changes. So you remember my hero is Sassy Strawberry and my villain is Sinister Sprout. And I've thought about what kind of things they might do in their story. You'll notice as well that I haven't written in full sentences today because this is just my plan. I don't want you to write a story today. I want you to just come up with some ideas and write them down. OK, so these are my ideas and they are not in proper sentences. So mine is still going to be in a supermarket and it's silent. There is a trolley rolling down the vegetable aisle. A funny squeaking noise near the exotic fruit like the pineapples and the Oh, the mangoes, all that kind of thing. Then my villain is going to have chopped off pineapple's hair, squash grapes, grated cheese sprinkled on the floor. Sinister Sprout is going to lock some vegetables in the freezer as well. And you'll see again, it's not in sentences. They're just my ideas. So then I need my hero to come and save the day. Sassy Strawberry brings her juice glue 
to stick all the hair back on and to stick the grated cheese back together but I haven't put all of that because this is just my plan that's going to go in my story super strength to stretch the grapes mind power to unlock the freezer and there's going to be a chase down the pet food aisle so then we need sassy strawberry to catch the sprout sinister sprout crashes into a tower of dog food tins so when I write my story I can explain exactly what happened but that is how the sprout is going to be caught and then my celebration at the end is going to be that sprouts locked in the freezer like evil pea was and there's going to be a supermarket disco with party food i've missed off my feelings there but i think i'm going to put everyone's excited i might just write the word excited so not in full sentences just noting down your ideas making sure they're in the right order so it's time to get writing so you can use the sheet that I've made. If you don't have the sheet, you could go back to the last part of the video. So you've got the sweet potato order down the side and just use those to help you on a piece of paper. Um, remember to use that to help you the ideas from sweet potato. But this is just a plan. You don't need to write full sentences. You don't need to have all the details. You just need to write down the main things that are going to happen in your story. And you'll need to have some ideas. I know it can be tricky. But remember, you can always come back to this and add a little bit more. Once you've finished your plan, try and write it neatly so Mrs Lee and I can read it. You can email it to us. The email address is on the slide or you can show it to someone if you're in school. I hope you're going to enjoy thinking of all of your ideas. I'm excited to read your plans. And then on Monday, that is when we're going to write our story. So remember, not in full sentences, just our ideas and have fun.